Roger. Yeah. This morning on oh. Up and Adams on Close FanDuel it. TV, Baker Mayfield was mic'd up talking to uh, Steve, Steve Young. Young. Steve Young. Yeah. And uh, it was kind of off air, but it was certainly on feed. And uh, did we just learn that Baker Mayfield's going back to Tampa? Woo. You listen. People. Yeah, most people, you know. Why, why is it whenever I'm in interviews or in crack down, yeah. I get like a million messages? I appreciate that. But you get a million messages all the time. No, not all the yeah. time. Get some pieces back. We should slate maybe because. Go in there, make yeah. a career. Exactly. Can we slate? That's awesome. Yeah. I think we should. Hard to do, <laughs> it is. Way to go. I, I started it. there. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Okay, so we'll run it again. A lot going on. Yeah. Ron K in <laughs> right, the yeah. front screen having a convo. Uh -huh. Wrong in, if you look right over, right behind Kay Adams there, you got Steve Young and Baker Mayfield. Yep. And you'll hear him settle in, get some pieces back, have a career yep. there. Bingo. That's where I started there, Steve says. If you're listening for it, you'll hear it. Chuck probably let, let slipped by there the first time. Let's run it back. This yeah, hot mic me. thing has really captivated the internet, obviously. Oh, yeah. people. Most people, you know. Why, why is it whenever I'm in interviews or in a crack down, yeah. I get like a million messages? I appreciate that. But you get a million messages all the time. No, not all the yeah. time. Get some pieces back. We should slate maybe because. Go in there and make yeah. a career. Exactly. Can we slate? That's awesome. Yeah. I think we should. Hard to do, though. It is. Way to go. I, I started it. there. Yeah, that's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. What do you say? Steve said. <laughs> Steve said have a career there, right? And yeah, they, settle yeah. in, have Baker a career there. Confirmed it. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Uh -huh. Yeah, because you know Baker still has what another ten years left if he wants to. Yeah, he's sure. what twenty eight. We forget about how quickly he was bounced around like after that. all the success at Cleveland that took place. Wins a playoff game for them. Not. Nah, we don't like them. Get them the hell out of here. Now, Cleveland is in a situation hmm. again and again and yeah. again. Right. Sure. And again. Right. And again. That's Cleveland. Right. Since then, football gods might have seen it all take place. He goes down to Carolina. He's on a scout team. He's rushing punts. He lied. Yeah. He's, he's, on, he's rushing punts. Hit scout goes. team. Yeah, absolutely. With wow. no helmet on. Oh, Self just trying to be a good teammate. Then he goes over to Los Angeles Rams, remember? Mm -hmm. Wins a game on two days notice yep. on Thursday Night Football with McVay. And wait a minute, wait a minute. He goes to Tampa, plays his best football. It's like this dude's career has already been whoom, wham, pow. And now Steve Young's like, feels like we're in the right spot. And he almost confirms it. Now, He's not going to say, Steve, that's stupid. I'm not going sure. to Tampa. <laughs> so, and he probably doesn't have a clue there. But it is nice to hear, I assume, if you're a Buccaneers fan, like, yeah, Baker definitely wants to come back. And he's looking at this as a long-term type situation down there. Absolutely. We know a lot of guys on that staff, obviously. AQ knows what's going on inside that building. Joey Gilbert, offensive line coach down there, is now at Carolina. Went over with Canales, right? Mm -hmm. Him and uh, Harold Goodwin. You remember Harold, right? Goody, yep. So those guys, Joey told me, like, not once, but a thousand times, what a good dude he was. From the minute he stepped into that locker room, he endeared himself to that team. He ingratiated himself. They took him in. He took care of that old line. Um, and they just, they love him. They, they kill for that dude. I think we love him, too. Yeah, well, oh, yeah. yeah. I mean, he stopped by yesterday with that advanced auto parts. That was maybe the best pitch we had heard so on Radio was Row. Incredibly yeah. efficient. And we saw the, uh, the pictures from the Pro Bowl with him and Tristan Wirfs. Just pounding around two, you know, two peas in a pod. That's the guy protecting him. Now, if they bring Mike Evans back, that's kind of the big. Huge. You know. Yeah, he's up, right? Yeah, yep. he is. Yep. Uh -huh. And uh, him, Michael Pittman Jr. Yep. Yeah. Justin up. Jefferson. T. Uh, Higgins. Cal Calvin Ridley. T. Higgins, T. Higgins, Calvin Ridley. Decent little wide receiver class out there. Yeah, pretty good wide receiver market yeah. coming in. Normally, we're looking at the Young Bucks coming in the draft because the Young Bucks have done great. Is... It's like right now, you can get probably, what are they going to make there? All those guys. 15? It yeah. 20? I mean, Odell yeah. got, what did Odell get? 13. 15. One, and all 15. those guys have been much more productive lately. Younger. Odell, like, like Mike Evans has had never had a non-1,000 yards. So he's going to get like, what, 25 million a year? Well, yeah, Whew. at least. And then Pittman and, I mean, Ridley. and As a Colts fan, hey, see you, Vince. Congrats on uh, the gold yes. medals. Oh, yeah, hey, Vince. Look at the golfer Vince. and a skier. That's athlete. Don't go together. Brain. No. Athlete. As a Colts fan, I want to let everybody know, Michael Pittman Jr., just terrible at football. If you're a general manager <laughs> around the NFL, this Michael Pittman Jr. guy, mm -hmm. just terrible at football. Don't try to sign him. Don't. don't. Cares about farming. Doesn't, doesn't really care about ball like yeah, that. Yeah, it's like his. he tries to work too hard. It's like yep. we get it, dude. Yep. He's like too humble, like, bro, okay, uh, you're a wide receiver. Mm -hmm. Too dedicated. You know? Seems to be the only one that just shows up every single day for the Indianapolis Colts. Tough. Yep. That feels like a guy we need to keep. <laughs> Michael Absolutely. Pittman Jr. needs to stay. What do you pay a guy like that? Well, well he could have utilized, and I'm not going to dive into all the business that happened with the Indianapolis Colts, but, like, when Jonathan Taylor decided to, like, kind of hold the Colts hostage a little yep. bit, like, Michael Pittman Jr. was our best weapon. Yeah. Like, and most consistent, showed up, 
new coach, right. new offense, new quarterback. And he was like the guy. He could have in that moment been like, oh, yeah, me too, by the way. Yeah. Yeah. I would like to do this. Not a one. Yeah. It's like and I, Jonathan Taylor got his money. It worked out for him, whatever the case. Does Indianapolis like Jonathan Taylor right now? I don't think so. But if he has a good year, he's all over. Absolutely. Back. It's Jonathan Taylor. We're Absolutely. looking to have it. Was he, he did his business move. He did what he had to do. But, like, Pittman could have done all that. Yep. Pittman could have done all that if he wanted to, especially at that time when he had no other weapons and it was a brand new head coach. He chose not to. I love Michael Pittman Jr. I'm a big, but I do think we should still get another one. Yeah. Like, yeah I don't know how Chris Ballard does it, but if we get, if Michael Pittman Jr. was to have somebody else, yeah. I don't even know what would happen to him. Yeah, 